Hello, my name is Alistair. I'm the Bad Mini Painter, and uh, this is a Vertit Float Drone. Vertit. So in Danish, O E is pronounced Ö. So for me, this is reading Vertit. Probably not how they wanted you to say it. Probably Vertit. So Vertit Float Drone. Anywho. I, 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 I decide to give it a base color of some sort, uh, crazier. And uh, then I go in with Dead Wolf Forest and just slap it all over the place, because that's that's how you do the first base layer. That's that's the lovely time where you don't have to consider if you may hit something or not. So I just, yeah, just slap it on there. Just no no remorse. Just. Yeah, I, as, you, as you can tell, I'm very excited about just slapping paint on a model. So Death Guard is uh, is one of my many projects, and I'm I'm going to finish off the Leaks of uh, Votan and uh, turn it turn it as finished. I have metric fuck ton of of those. Um, oh yes, Screaming Bell for all the uh, bronze metallics and uh, now you could go uh, belt aside you could go with either gold or, or bronze but uh, the screaming bell just really speaks to me especially in combination with the uh, with the green i think it's it, it just it looks awesome together so that's 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 what i did anyhow so i'm going to finish off the league of uh, Bhutan and uh, and uh, tau that I'm doing, uh, but I'm adding Death Guard to it because I have Matarian lying around and he's painted decently, so I I, wa I want to play with him. So we're going to paint up some Death Guard once in a while on this channel as well. And you know, as soon as I finish up an army, I'm going to move on to something else, like another army, probably for 40k, probably. And again, we're still at this lovely stage where I don't really have to be that careful. Now I don't want to hit the green too much, but if I do, it's it's not the end of the world. So it's still uh, it's uh, it's quite liberating to paint like this. Like, like I'm five years old or three years old, and it doesn't matter if I color in or out of the lines. So lead belcher for the silver parts or the metal parts, and that's the spikes and. Um, other minor goblins around the, the model. Yeah, yeah, the propellers, for one instance. Yes. Again, I'm I'm not being overly careful, but now we're reaching a, a point where I I have to be a little careful. Also, silver for all the vents that this monstrosity has. And that brush is on its last legs. I didn't even notice before now. So, this is my mistake number one. I decided to use uh, White Sands from Scale 75, a paint I normally like quite a bit. But for some reason, the coverage was horrible. And as it is with many um, uh, white colors or off white colors, they have a tendency to uh, be kind of dry but wet so uh, they get the uh, yonky uh, clunky uh, fairly quick uh, when you add multiple coats it's easy to get streaks in them and, and stuff like that so it's 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 a f it, it was a frustrating choice I should have maybe base colored it with something heavier pigmented and lighter and then done the white sands or uh, something I don't know. I fucked up. Yeah, uh, that that that. Well, the only one that really got hurt was myself. So, I guess that's okay. And this is the second coat going on, and now the coverage is kind of okay, but it's also starting to gunk up. So I I have streaks and little clumps around the place. It pisses me off. It's annoying. Like, why can't you do a decent off-white color? No one seems to be able to do that. But Gracia was definitely not the correct um, base color to do this on. I should have gone white. So, uh, <clears throat> Morgast uh, bone for all the horns and uh, 
yeah that's got like a bit of misformation and also the the tendency to uh, combine um, uh, mechanic with uh, organic where it's kind of like this this started out being a mechanic and being being but then as corruption took over it kind of burst through it, uh, it's a nice uh, look like it seems uh, uh, very corrupted and that's basically for for all the bone spikes around uh, yeah makes sense right kind of makes sense next I do some uh, covers black and that this like uh, off black color is uh, is one of my favorite blacks uh, and I do that for all the piping and I also end up doing it a bunch of spots I didn't want to because I uh, in my mind uh, in, my, in, in my tiny little brain I had forgotten that uh, some of the pipes or tubes was actually flesh so yeah I had to give that 19 layers of white sands to cover up the black covers black next it's finally time for death guard green and uh, as you may notice uh, this is coming on kind of goopy and uh, that's because I had an idea so I added some crackling medium to this uh, and I did that because that will make the drying process quite a bit slower uh, the crackling medium medium takes a long time to uh, to dry. It's uh, from uh, Vallejo, I think, <clears throat> and that means that uh, when I go in and uh, give it the Agrax Earth Shade, as soon as it had had uh, half an hour to dry or something like that, I'm going to get some really really awesome streaks. And it didn't turn out as great as I hoped, but uh, but it ended up looking pretty good. You'll you'll see. I, I was happy. I, I, I want to do like a grim dark thing on Bob. Next, right line flesh shade, heavily thinned with the Lamian medium. And that is for all the flesh, all of the flesh. Uh, it's it's thinned down heavily because I still wanted that, uh, wanted that uh, pale, sickly aesthetics um, on the white. That's it's. I think it's a one, two, three, 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 three. That's a difficult word to say when when, when you're not a native speaker. Um, and I just slap it on, and it's actually quite fine if it hits some of the uh, screaming bell at, at, as well. That that's kind of that's okay. And now we put on the Acrax Earth Shade, and you can see that it it kind of mixes a little bit with the Death Guard Green. Right, you know, right away it doesn't go on uh, as runny it's kind of uh, thick so you get these uh, streaks that you can manipulate around and like small stuff like that is uh, it's fun it's it's a little a kind of a different way to do it um, there's other paints. I could have used oil paints to get the same effect. I guess. Well, you be the judge of that. Um, but it comes on really, really grimy. So, I slap that all over the model. I give it two minutes to let it set. And then I go in with a Q-tip. Uh, no water on it. Uh, a dry Q-tip, and just rub away um, most of the uh, uh, of the shading, and uh, of course still keep the the edges and uh, all the crevices and holes and whatever. Um, keep that nice and uh, dirty. I could have put a little bit of water on the on the Q-tip to um, to make it, uh, it that would probably have added a, more of a gradient, uh, but I wanted a, a rough corners or a rough uh, gradient. Uh, 
Yeah, and I basically just do that all over the model. So the, the end result, yeah, you will see in a short time, but I think it, it, it ends up fairly decent. Now, Stormhove Silver is my favorite uh, when it comes to edge highlighting um, metal, metals, metallic paints. So I do that all over the, the screen and bell. And I do it a little bit too much here and there, but nothing that you can go back on afterwards. And it's absolutely lovely jubbly. I think it, it gives a really nice effect. Like, uh, uh, makes it look a little bit uh, worn, but clean. Which is ironic when the rest of the model is so dirty. And some Carol Burr Crimson for the tentacles. And I will also dab it here and there uh, where I feel like the flesh should look uh, aggravated or like a little infected. Oh. So basically all the places where metal is coming out of the flesh, I dab a little bit. It's not thinned or anything, it's just... Yeah, just as is, as is. You can actually go back with some water on your brush if you want to thin it out. And Ushapti Bone. And I do that from, uh, from the base and 80% uh, up. That, that's what I went for. Um, the spikes are horns on, on these little buggers. Um, they're dirty at the top and not at the bottom for some reason. Like I go into the box art, and it, it, it kind of it looks good. It looks like uh, the horns have actually been used in battle. And I quickly dab all the teeth, teeth uh, as well, uh, trying not to cover all the. Uh, Morgast. Morgast? Morgast? Ah, I'll, I'll learn to speak at some point. And finally, Screaming Skull. Just at the base and 40-50% up. And that gives a... Uh, it's a rough gradient, but it gives a gradient of colors and adds some interest. It's uh, it's better than uh, just uh, pure bone. And I decided not to shade the bones or the spikes, horns, or teeth um, in the end. Because I, I, I honestly, I really like the aesthetics that I more or less by accident had achieved. Um, so I didn't want to do any more shading. I felt like this was uh, decent. And just try to be precise and only touch uh, the teeth. I do, do a, let, uh, a light dab um, on the ridges. Make them look a little sharper. Yeah. And it, then we can do a little bit of um, right line flesh shade on the horns. As I said, I, <laughs> I didn't want to do. Apparently, I changed my mind. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shh. I'm such an idiot. It's okay. No going back now. So, uh, I decided that the, the tips of the horns wasn't quite uh, dark enough. I, I recorded this a long time ago. Give me a break. I will go back and do it over. No, because it's late and I need to sleep. Anyhow, so I decided to do it on the tip of the, the horns and uh, then use a little bit of water to smooth it out. And that worked quite well. Yes. So disregard what I said before and listen to what I'm saying now. Finally, Spirit Stone Red for the eyes. It's a technical paint. I don't know if it's still in uh, something you can buy, but, but I like it. It's it's uh, thick, it's glossy, it's kind of varnishy. I don't know. 
resin kind of ish den tesseract uh, glow for uh, the mucus the the uh, bile that uh, that is hanging around uh, so that's uh, between the horns and uh, dripping from the gun that's a technical paint that came out with the ninth edition uh, for the necrons Anywho, the end result ended up looking like this. And now for a clear picture. Is the butt. So I feel like this was a, 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 a above average paint job for me. Uh, I really like the, the grim dark look that I, uh, I managed to achieve. I know it's not uh, proper grim dark, but I'm proud. This, this is decent. Anywho. Sorry for uh, mumbling, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe, as the nice little animation said. And uh, thank you for watching, bye.